Recall use on the pointer, but he's not getting another one. That's huge. Both supports down to Carpe's Tracer. So you got the Nano Boost here used again on a Fusion. So the Pacific have to back up the point, but at 97%, it is They're not trouble. looking good for the Pacific. So this will be the Atlantic, who are now we're in overtime here. Players just kind of trickling their way onto the point. This will be the Atlantic that'll take this point one. That's right. Fusion's putting in the work there. Jinmu attempting to try and stall it out, but it's not enough. Atlantic starts strong here. He's trying to put a pulse bomb on Jay Hong there as he pushed him as they came out of spawn. Didn't quite work out. Jurak into trouble. He forced to use a mining grenade to keep himself alive. Flatter, most of that barrage being cancelled out by the defense matrix, but he's still able to find one. And then after the fact, it was Fusion's that was felled. Self-destruct as well here is gonna dart to the side then get on the point dragon blade here from carpe able to get one gets a second that'll be both supports down for the pacific that's perfect from the atlantic division though they lost control they had a couple players pine had to keep the point going but now they bring the cavalry and some of those important fight winning ultimates carpe finding two very important and a self-destruct left on the point it's a bit of a presence even as she goes here with the time and here we go nano blade from haxal immediately the transcendence cut down for neko he doesn't want anything to do with that Fury, though, is taken down. I think he was around the corner and away from the line of sight to benefit from the healing of the Transcendence. And that's that. I mean, as soon as Haxel pulls out the blade, you know the days. Super and Sinatra obviously still on the Shark, but I know Dante traded in the offseason. The Shark have so many good players you didn't even need Dante, which is kind of crazy to say because <laughs> if Houston could have had Dante last year, they probably would have I, loved that. I think so. <laughs> so... San Francisco definitely look at this replay. Then I just wreaking havoc. And when you watch it, like uh, it was so interesting, you know, when Nene playing in the uh, Widowmaker match yesterday. For the EMP, Jester though is gonna flatten Sinatra as he lands on top. And the Atlantic Division looks like they're gonna hold solid here. Huxel tries to challenge on the payload, but he's hacked the can't do too much. The Doomfist would have been great to see, but his options were taken away. Slime tried to get there, but was shoved backwards. And the Atlantic tell. But it might be enough now to unravel the Pacific Division's hold on point A, and Huxal knew he would be struggling to escape from Gesture there. Remote Mine might have given him a bit of time and escaped, but that'll be that. Point A will be captured by the Atlantic Division, and they will be able to move that payload out of the garage. And let's see what the Pacific Division decide to do now as Sinatra moves away from him. Sinatra does not connect on his initial rocket punch. This makes it a little bit vulnerable right now. Self-destruct thrown in. Oh, Violet, you saw him running for the hills, but he couldn't get away from that one. Super now, running on empty. Nene is going to enter inside the Cone of Silence, Winston's bubble, and make sure he gets the finish. Slime's going to be eliminated now, as he couldn't get away fast enough. He wanted to hang around and try and stall things out, but the Atlantic Division are well set up now to finish things off here in Sinatra. Now, you weren't that. You know you weren't that. <laughs> here with just a blade but he'll have, have to pull it out Matt will save it for a rainy day now as Huxel drops in ah uh, the nano the fist uh, Sinatra is this his revenge is he gonna get him he didn't get him, him. He he didn't get him. No. not yet anyway Sinatra going down there to gesture in the Atlantic division of stalled out a little bit here this time it's super having a bit of a sleep <laughs> Huxel forced to translocate away from danger to use their stuff. Oh, they away. woke him up. Jesse's gonna jump in there as well. Sleep time was good, but Fury's pulse bomb is better. Self-destruct, should I say, from Fury. He's found two. And now that card's gonna sail on home. The Pacific Division have to do something about this now and stop it. Huxel kept it stalled for just a brief moment, but Sinatra won't get there. Plenty of shenanigans there towards the end of King's Row. But it will come up 2-0 in favor of our Atlantic Division in our All-Star. Destroy yeah, some. I, I think Fusions wants the up-close personal view of Domination from Brand. Oh! Oh my word! Oh! 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 oh. Out of it after one death. This is like, what is going? On? Oh! Ooh. Bren! Bren was not even looking in the right to relief to skill ratio than Bren and Hook. Oh! Jester has him in his sights. Oh no! Jester let that one slip. No! Ooh. No! No! <laughs> what? Put your headset back on, boy! Nail that angle there, sideshow. This is not looking good. It's and Jester gets it. And Jester's really back down. Doesn't connect with that shot there. Dangerously close, but Brent gets two. Oh my word. Oh my word. Just go the high ground. Have you seen this man try and make a frozen burrito before? It'll give you an idea of just how horrible this is going to go. And there you have it. All is right in the world. 
having a lot of hacks done from the point. Really not being looked at at all. Sire player, VDM. We could have had Carpe VDM in that head to head, but no, we'll have to wait for that one EMP. Connects with Dogman and Cruise and Dragon Strike thrown at the point, but the Atlantic Division, well, they can limp back into this fight now as Mecha is brought back to life. Mana will need to step forward though. They'll need to set up a new shield on the point here for Dogman going down to space as Hanzo. I don't think there's much chance of them holding here. They lose Cruise. Melee! Mecha's got two kills on the point, Matt. There's no way he turns this. Oh, I mean, maybe he's got the health back. No, no, not yet. I mean, look, everybody from the Pacific is already spawned in. I mean, Prophet now in on Tracer, though. So we've seen Prophet do crazy stuff Man, on the Tracer in the past. So nope, loses the Tracer duel. The K is very Prophet. low. What is happening? Mecho takes him down, essentially finally okay. falls, but Mecho got almost Now we killed. go back, we get the point. Okay, here we go. Now it's starting to resemble a, a game. As Pacific, they'll take the first. And they capitalize. Self-destruct thrown into the back of the point here by space. No connection. Dogman. Oh, uh, you got to get up pretty early in the day if you want to try and peek DM on McCree. Cruz was his next target, but looks like Mane just going to roll straight on through. He picks up the kill here. Point being captured as we speak, and Sire player will have to intervene from afar. He does straight away a headshot towards Twilight, Matt. That is mental. Yeah, and they ended up using the nano boost on the Decay, but nobody's on the point. No, they just give up the ticks, and then they come back. And they're able to hold. Try and touch. Mecco the lone sentinel here on the point will keep it contested. And give space some troubles here, but Decay's gone in. He's found Dogman. Sire player strikes once more though and takes the head straight off Decay. Mano on the Doom Fist, by the way. <laughs> Getting some work done. And there it is, a little bit of finesse. Some flair from the Atlantic Division as their defense looks wrong. Before they take the point. Twilight being chased down, but he got him health back now. Mane's gonna need a bit of backup. Slime's gonna try and intervene and stop Mecco from getting the kill. Somehow Twilight stays alive for as long as he did, and that is impressive, but. He is run down. The rest of the Atlantic team are able to deal with the remainders of the Pacific Division, except for this man, Bumper, who will never go quietly into the night, as we've discovered on many occasions. He'll try and hang in there now, getting rid of Dogman, almost removing Mecho. Look at that, he didn't even crouch. Oh, Mecho, so clever. Defense Matrix cancels out Dion's Pulse Bomber now. It's a tactical visor from Prophet. Self-destruct from space. Can he hide behind the mech? He can. What a brilliant... Oh, no! <laughs> the Helix Rocket connects. Astounding work from Prophet Get Space off the map. Looked like you have another bite of the apple there, but no. No supper for you. And off the point went Slime. The Atlantic team take the third map. It's like kind of an even fight here. Is Mono going with the Primal Rage, trying Salud. to catch Fleta in midair. The cart, he's yeah. got to get back to the cart, yep. Mono needs to juggle Fleta a little bit more if he's going to get the kill there. He might be in trouble here. Just trying to make himself scarce. He notices Hark Sol was low in the window, but he couldn't really assist. Jodark's taken down now. OG. We'll just uh, punctuate the sentence there. Shudo's been zoned out in the back. He can't really do too much, but Decay gets rid of Jodark. Both teams have gone for one another's honors to remove them from the fight. OG went for a minefield, got profit. Oh, it looks like he tried to send that pulse bomb email. Decay not connected, but they get the checkpoint anyway. The Atlantic Division were so transfixed on the back line of Pacific that they didn't realize what was happening right under their noses. Yeah, they, they got Shu in the middle of nowhere. Uh, subjective, but here comes the Dragon Blade. Huxel drops in. Animo is gone. He's headed for the hills, Huxel, and your dinner has gotten away. He'll have to content himself with sharpening the blade on the Reinhardt, but Prophet returns, gives him a pop on the back of the head and tells him to respect his elders. Decay down now. Evil Tar moving up to the point, but he is just a mercy, and they won't be able to touch. <laughs> I would say that is quite a strong choice. This man is the conductor. I want to see a full-on die from this Atlantic Division team with Nene on Tracer and Prophet on Genji, and then these tanks. The Dragon comes in from Haxal, takes out Mano Prophet, and gets Mecho as well. Nano Hanzo! Nano the Hanzo. Point take for Atlantic. Nano boost there. You probably expect him to go for Mano. But Mano's already used the Primal Rage here, though. Prophet gets in there, Nano Boost and Blade finds two. Jodak there to find Flatter in the sky with Shu out of the picture now. The healing has been severely limited on the side of the Pacific Division, and the cleanup is there. Finally, the Atlantic crew will get themselves this checkpoint. That was where Flatter went to try and get rid of the winner. Like, oh, there it is, OG sleeping. Ow! And he got Nano Boosted. Yeah. That is so rough. By the time he wakes up, the Nano Boost will pretty much have expired. Luckily, Decay is able to find the pressure valve here and find two, but the Div Atlantic Division want to keep going for this one. They have a Primal Rage Mano here. He's in a good position to do work, but with Shu coming back, you have to think. Yeah. Self-destruct Mecha needs to stay alive here and get back in the mech. 
Can he do it? No! Shu takes him down, and here comes the blade. Axel looking to finish off Mane, who's got quite the big target. And there's no one else really from the Atlantic Division around the point now. There's a recall already from Prophet's Tracer. He's not going to be able to get there, and it looks like the Pacific Division now are going to be able to stay in this series. They've done it! That'll be it. They get the hold. The Pacific Division gets on the board. They get a map win. The Atlantic, they look absolutely stunned as pretty much NY. Really Bam. sad, yeah. All right, Amon almost goes down there. Pine's Dead Eye claims Evil Tar from across the map. Yeah, Amon was low enough, so the follow up damage was definitely there. Jinmu, yeah, interesting there. He, yeah. He your strikes onto the, the top. That was filthy. I will have to assume that Jinmu was visible to him at the time he took the shot, but that was such a pixel that he hit. Pine trying to go for the Dead Eye here. A quick kill on Jay Hong would save him a lot of time as. Moira is a little bit slippery. He's waiting for a flashbang. He does see the uh, rotation from Jay Hong, and Pine is going to chill. Okay, fair enough. Not sure. Ryan. Is he Ryan or Winston? Rumor played Winston. Yeah. Actually yeah. played Winston and Ryan because Winston at the time was doing a ton of damage. Yeah. Uh, when he landed on people and in Primal Rage, I think like a lot of damage. I think like an inordinate amount. Not the case anymore. But Sonata still fans is trying to get his team back into this game. Seventy-one percent for the Atlantic Division and challenge. Maybe it is a last stand for him as he may be knocked off the point. No, he's able to avoid that one, but the EMP does connect and that's it. Okay, an interesting climax to an interesting series. <laughs> uh, the very best of the best in the Overwatch League show up to show us their most ridiculous picks. But in the end, it is the Atlantic Division who prevail. Yeah, the Pacific Division, they all just kind of looked at each other, started laughing there. Don't think anyone really knew who was supposed to get on the point. Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.